Welcome to Combat Recapped. In March 2011, Max Holloway's early career was highlighted by a split decision victory over veteran Harris Sarmiento, which earned him the X1 lightweight title. When Holloway was 19 years old, he had a 4 0 record. In Bloody Elbows 2012 World MMA Scouting Report, he was compared to former UFC and WEC lightweight champion Anthony Pettis as the seventh ranked featherweight prospect of 2012. This was due to his ability to incorporate a wide variety of flying and spinning kicks, knees, and elbows into his striking arsenal. Holloway was the youngest fighter on the UFC roster when he made his promotional debut as an injury replacement for Ricardo Lamas at UFC 143 in February 2012 against Dustin Poirier. He was defeated through submission in the first round. On June 1, 2012, at the Ultimate Fighter 15 finale, Holloway faced Pat Schilling, Holloway was proclaimed the winner by a vote of 30-27, 30-27, and 30-27. On August 11, 2012, Holloway defeated Justin Lawrence at UFC 150. Holloway won the fight by TKO in the second round. Holloway then fought Leonard Garcia in place of an injured Cody McKenzie at UFC 155 on December 29, 2012. Holloway came out on top in a close fight by split decision. Holloway faced Dennis Bermudez at UFC 160 on May 25, 2013. In the fight, he lost by a controversial split decision. But 11 out of 11 media members gave the bout to Holloway. Holloway fought Conor McGregor at UFC Fight Night 26 on August 17, 2013, which he lost by unanimous decision. Holloway went on to face promotional newbie Will Chope at UFC Fight Night 34 on January 4, 2014 following his fight with McGregor. Holloway won the fight by TKO in the second round. For his victory, Holloway got his first knockout of the night bonus. Holloway fought Andre Feely at UFC 172 on April 26, 2014. He also won the back and forth bout after submitting Feely in the third round. In place of an injured Ernest Chavez, Holloway was slated to fight Mirsad Bekti at UFC Fight Night 49 on August 23, 2014. Bektek withdrew from the fight in the week before the event and was replaced by promotional newcomer Clay Collard. Holloway won the fight by TKO in the third round. Holloway fought Akira Korsani as a replacement for Chang Sung Jung at UFC Fight Night 53 on October 4, 2014. He knocked out his opponent in the first round. For his victory, Holloway got his first Performance of the Night bonus award. When Holloway faced Cole Miller at UFC Fight Night 60 on February 15, 2015, he kept his winning run going. By unanimous vote, he was named the winner. Cub Swanson fought Max Holloway on April 18, 2015 at UFC on Fox 15. Holloway finished the fight with a mounted guillotine in the third round. As a result of his victory, Holloway got his second Performance of the Night bonus award. On August 23, 2015, Holloway fought Charles Oliveira at UFC Fight Night 74. Oliveira was unable to finish the fight after suffering an apparent neck and shoulder injury while fighting a takedown. Holloway won the fight by TKO in the first round. Oliveira's injury was ultimately diagnosed as a micro tear in his esophagus, though the UFC later stated that he was not suffering from any serious diseases. With this victory, Holloway became the youngest fighter in UFC history to win 10 times. Max Holloway faced Jeremy Stevens at UFC 194 on December 12, 2015, after 10 wins as the younger UFC fighter. He won by unanimous decision. Holloway then fought Ricardo Lamas at UFC 199 on June 4, 2016. He faced Anthony Pettis for the interim UFC featherweight championship at UFC 206 on December 10, 2016, and won by unanimous decision. Pettis weighed 148 pounds, three pounds higher than the 145 pound featherweight limit for a championship fight. As a result, Pettis was unable to compete for the UFC championship. Pettis was also docked 20% of his purse, which was transferred to Holloway, and the fight was moved to a catchweight bout. After winning the fight by TKO in the third round, Holloway was awarded a performance of the night bonus. Holloway battled with featherweight champion Jose Aldo in a title unification bout at UFC 212 on June 3, 2017. After overcoming some early problems, Holloway defeated Aldo by TKO in the third round. On October 4, 2017, Holloway announced that he had signed a new multi-fight deal with the UFC. Holloway was supposed to fight Frankie Edgar at UFC 218 
on December 2, 2017, but Edgar pulled out due to injury on November 8, 2017, and Jose Aldo was brought in to replace him. Holloway won a third round TKO to keep his featherweight title. The fight with Edgar was rescheduled and to take place on March 3, 2018 at UFC 222. However, this time, Holloway had to pull out of the bout due to a leg injury that was revealed on February 2018. In a fight for the vacant undisputed UFC lightweight championship against Khabib Nurmagomedov at UFC 223 on April 7, 2018, Holloway was named as a late replacement for Tony Ferguson, who was injured. If Holloway had won, he would have become the second fighter in UFC history to hold titles in two divisions at the same time, following Conor McGregor. Because he had no scheduled fights and was not in a training camp, Holloway entered the battle with only six days to prepare. Due to the severity of his short notice weight loss, Holloway was pulled from the card by New York State Athletic Commission doctors on April 6 as he was ready to weigh in. Al Iaquinta entered the ring as a last minute replacement for Holloway. On July 7, 2018, Holloway was scheduled to defend his UFC featherweight championship against Brian Ortega at UFC 226. Holloway was pulled from the fight on July 4 after experiencing concussion-like symptoms. On December 8, 2018, Holloway defended his title against Brian Ortega in the main event of UFC 231 in Toronto, Canada. After a doctor stoppage in the fourth round, Holloway was proclaimed the winner. For this victory, he received the Fight of the Night and Performance of the Night trophies. Holloway set the record for most significant strikes in a single fight and significant strikes in a single round. Max Holloway made a weight class jump and challenged Dustin Poirier in a rematch for the interim UFC lightweight championship at UFC 236 in Las Vegas on April 13, 2019. In a back and forth fight, he was defeated by unanimous decision. After losing to Dustin Poirier, Holloway returned to featherweight and a third fight against former UFC lightweight champion Franker Edgar was set for July 27, 2019 in the main event of UFC 240, which Holloway won by unanimous decision, defending his featherweight title for the third time. Holloway faced off against Alexander Volkanovsky on December 14, 2019 at UFC 245, but his featherweight reign came to an end when he was defeated by a unanimous decision. On July 12, 2020, Holloway challenged Alexander Volkanovsky for the UFC Featherweight Championship in a rematch at UFC 251. For the second time in a row, he was defeated by Volkanovsky via split decision. After the defeat to Volkanovsky, Holloway then faced Calvin Qatar in a UFC on ABC1 main event on January 16, 2021. Holloway dominated Qatar throughout all five rounds to win by unanimous decision with two judges scoring the fight 50-43 in his favor and one judge scoring the fight 50-42 in his favor. In an amazing display of skill, Holloway landed a two-punch combo in the final two minutes of the fifth round, then stared and talked to the cage side commentary team while deftly dodging Qatar's strikes and yelling, I'm the best boxer in the UFC, prompting speculation that he was paying homage to Muhammad Ali, who was known for his showboating. Holloway set a UFC single fight record for total strikes landed and attempted, significant strikes landed and attempted, strike differential, distance strikes landed, significant head strikes landed, and significant body strikes landed. In the fourth round, he also set a new record for strikes and severe strikes. Holloway was scheduled to fight Yair Rodriguez at UFC on ESPN 26 on July 17, 2021. According to sources, Holloway was forced to withdraw from his fight with Rodriguez on June 17, 2021 due to injuries. He fought Yair Rodriguez at UFC Fight Night 197 on September 13, 2021. By a unanimous decision, he was named the winner. As of February 14, 2022, Holloway is rated number 6 in the UFC men's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Let's look at Max Holloway's upcoming bout. According to his record, Max Holloway has lost twice to Volkanovski and has never won against him. Holloway last lost to Alexander Volkanovski at UFC 251 on Saturday, July 12, 2020. Holloway was again scheduled to face Volkanovski on March 5, 2022 at UFC 272. Holloway, however, was forced to withdraw from the event due to an injury. The bout was rescheduled for a third rematch at UFC 276 on July 2, 2022. Do you think Max Holloway, despite his winning record and the fact that he has never beaten Volkanovski, can surprise us by winning his third rematch with him? Leave a comment below. 
Thank you for watching Combat Recap. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.